Uh, hello everyone, I'm Dong Hyun Kuk from KAIST, and my advisor is Myung Soo Jung, who leads Computer Architecture and Memory Systems Laboratory. Today, I will introduce our work, Direct Access High Performance Memory Disintegration with Direct CXL. Before moving on to the main talk, I will give you a higher level summary of the talk. Our work's main research talk target is memory disaggregation, which can satisfy large memory requirements of various big data applications. Existing me memory disaggregation uses RDMA, but RDMA requires high monetary cost for specialized network interface card and switch and it also degrades application performance because of microsecond level of memory access latency. Instead of RDMA, we suggest to use CXL for memory disaggregation. CXL can reduce monetary costs for memory disaggregation and minimize the performance degradation. However, CXL enabled system is not available for now. In this work, we designed memory we designed CXL based memory disaggregation direct CXL. Direct CXL implements CXL-enabled host, CXL memory device, and CXL switch. We also modified the Linux kernel to expose CXL-attached memory to the user-level application. Our evaluation using real hardware prototype shows three times better performance than RDMA-based memory disaggregation. Now, I'll explain what a CXL is and how CXL can be used for memory disaggregation. The Compute Express Link, or CXL, is an open industry standard for cache coherent interconnect based on PCI Express. CXL allows device to cache data stored in host memory without breaking cache coherency. This kind of device is defined as type 1 in CXL, and the core processor can be example of type 1 device. CXL also allows host to cache data stored in device memory and such device is called type 3. Type 2 device mixes type 1 and type 3, and an accelerator with internal memory like GPU can be example of type 2 device. Like this, CXL supports various type of device ranging from accelerators to memory. In this work, we focus on CXL.mem protocol with type 3 devices for the memory, di memory expansion which allows host to access memory with load store instruction. From now on, I'll show benefits of CXL-based memory disaggregation compared to RDMA in both hardware and software viewpoint. From the hardware viewpoint, RDMA requires the network connection such as InfiniBand, so we need network interface card with RDMA support called RNIC. In contrast, CXL enables direct access to the remote memory, but we need CXL-enabled CPU and CXL controller for the device. We compared single cache line load latency of RDMA and direct CXL. Let's see the RDMA case first. The data is stored in remote DRAM, so CPU will read the data and complete DMA request of RNIC. The RNIC will send data through the network and another RNIC at the host side writes received data to the local DRAM using the DMA. For the CXL case, it only access remote DRAM when cache miss occurs. The data stored in the remote memory is loaded to the CXL controller, and the controller sends the data to the host CPU. As load store instruction can be directly handled by CXL device, direct CXL is about eight times faster than RDMA. From the software viewpoint, RDMA requires additional software intervention. When application calls RDMA function, user-level RDMA libraries must be involved to control the RNIC. In contrast, CXL does not introduce any software overhead as it access remote memory using load store instruction. As a result, the performance benefit is increased to about 24 times. In this section, I will explain how we design the direct CXL by answering design questions. First design question is how CPU can directly access remote memory. 
Second question is how to realize memory disaggregation using CXL. And last question is how application can use CXL attached remote memory. Let's begin with the first question. To enable CPU to access remote memory, the load store instruction issued by the CPU is directly converted to CXL packet. We prototyped CXL CPU on high performance accelerator card and CXL memory device on customized FPJ board. When application running on the CXL CPU exists memory request, the CPU will convert the memory request into CXL packet called CXL fleet. When the CXL fleet arrived in the CXL memory device, it converts CXL fleet back to the memory request and serves using underlying DRAM. The CXL CPU implements CXL root port, which extends PCI Express root port with CXL support. In case of cache miss, the root CXL root port will convert the memory request into CXL fleet. The CXL memory device implements CXL endpoint, which extends PCI Express endpoint with CXL support. It converts incoming CXL fleet into the memory request so that the memory controller can understand the memory request. To realize memory disaggregation, direct CXL implements reconfigurable switch which supports multiple CXL CPUs and CXL memory devices. Our CXL switch uses the same hardware platform with CXL CPU, and it supports four CXL CPUs and four CXL memory devices. The CXL CPU, sorry, the CXL switch includes reconfigurable crossbar, so the connection among CXL CPUs and CXL memory devices can be changed. User can configure the crossbar through the Fabric Manager. After the configuration, the crossbar will connect CXL memory devices and CXL CPU. And the configuration can be changed on the runtime using hot plug and hot remove feature. To expose CXL attached memory space to user, we leverage Linux memory management system. Software runtime of direct CXL is consists of enumeration phase, initialization phase, and usage phase. When Linux PCI bus driver performs enumeration, our CXL host bridge driver discovers CXL memory devices. Remote memory of each CXL memory device is mapped to the system, and so the CPU can issue memory request to the remote memory. Our CXL memory device driver is loaded after enumeration, and the driver exposes character device to interact with user-level application. User can create namespace through IOCTL, and user can perform MMAP on the namespace device to use the CXL attached memory space. The MMAP handler of CXL device driver will map physical address space of remote memory into the user's virtual memory address space. So the user can issue load store instruction to the mapped memory to use CXL attached remote memory. Finally, I will show two demo videos. In the first demo video, I will compare the performance of recommendation system using existing RDMA-based solution and direct CXL. We used the DLRM, mod DLRM model from Meta, and the whole embedding table is stored in the remote memory. On the left side, there are four customized FPJ boards for CXL memory devices. And on the upper right side, four accelerator cards for used CXL host and one for CXL switch. Each terminal shows the booting process of each host. And each host local memory is one gigabyte. And I add one additional Duma node for remote memory. Our direct CXL driver will communicate with Fabric Manager to add, attach, or detach memory devices. For the comparison, we use the same accelerator cards for RDMA system. We used InfiniBand FDR for RDMA network and one MVM SSD for creating, creating sub-partition. Each node has 48 gigabytes of system memory and InfiniBand is initialized correctly. We ran DLRM workload and compared the execution time of each step. In the tensor initialization phase, we filled the embedding table with the random values. 
In the inference phase, we performed 10 inferences. Direct CXL was 2.8 times faster than RDMA in inference phase and 3.3 times faster in end-to-end. -end. In the second, vi second video, I will show how CXL switch can be used for memory disaggregation. On each host, four CXL memory devices are available to reuse, and each host has 900 megabytes of system memory. I will attach one CXL memory device per each host. After attach, the system memory is increased to 17 gigabytes, and the 16 gigabytes, gigabytes of remote memory is visible as NUMA node 1. Assume that the uh, host A requires more memory, so I will detach the memory of host C and D and attach them to the host A. After detach, the system memory is decreased to 900 megabytes. And after attach, the system memory is increased to 49 gigabytes, and the 48 gigabytes of remote memory is visible in Duma node 1. In this work, we showed direct CXL, the world first real CXL version 2 system for memory disaggregation. It supports CXL from bottom to top, including hardware and software runtimes. Also, it reduced monetary cost for directly accessing remote memory. And it achieves high performance remote memory access. This is the end of my talk. Thank you for listening. <laughs>